Hello guys, welcome to Everything Metallurgy and welcome to day 59 of 100 days and concepts. Today, we are going to discuss about the small concept but very very important concept from steel making which is distribution ratio. Okay, usually uh, it is denoted by L. Okay, so what is this distribution ratio? So, distribution ratio is nothing but the ratio of you know, the content. Let's take sulfur. Okay, so the ratio of the sulfur content in the slag to the sulfur content in the liquid steel and this sulfur content in the steel is after the secondary refining that means after here it is desulfurization so usually it is used for sulfur and phosphorus okay so you can replace this statement with sulfur and phosphorus okay so it is ratio of the sulfur content or the weight percentage of sulfur that is present in the slag is to the sulfur content that is left out in the liquid steel after the desulfurization treatment so it gives you how effectively the sulfur is partitioning that is the sulfur is redistributing from my liquid steel into slag that means distribution ratio tells you that how good okay your sulfur is jumping from liquid steel into the slag so it can be written as percentage s okay so these brackets usually indicate slag divided by square brackets which is usually metal so this is the formula so how should be the value of l is it uh, less or if it is high is it desirable definitely we want less sulfur content after desulfurization in the steel and also we want more sulfur going into slag so high l means it is very good desulfurization process that has been done okay so similarly dephosphorization so if you want to write for dephosphorization let's write ls and lp it is equal to percentage of phosphorus in slag divided by percentage of phosphorus in the metal after desulfurization after dephosphorization okay remember many people will be confused whether to take the initial percentage or the final percentage but it is always the final percentage after the treatment that's when this concept this distribution ratio will explain you how good your process is how efficient your desulfurization process is okay that's how you have to go about so now let's uh, look at some quick example okay which is uh, one of the previous year question itself where it is said that one ton of liquid steel one ton of liquid steel which has 0.05 percentage of sulfur okay it is brought in equilibrium with 0.1 ton of slag 0.1 ton of slag containing no sulfur that means initial slag has no sulfur and initial steel has 0.05 percentage of sulfur and for 1 ton if you convert it it is 0.05 divided by 100 into 1000 so 1 ton is 1000 kg so it is how much it is 0.5 kg Okay, so 0.5 kg of sulfur is present in one ton of steel even then it is not desirable you have to even reduce it okay now it is given that your distribution ratio is 10 okay, l equal to 10 so percentage sulfur in slag divided by percentage sulfur in the steel after desulfurization is equal to 10 okay now they are asking to find the final content of steel okay so after desulfurization what is the final content present in steel so how you actually do weight percentage so what is weight percentage weight percentage is weight of certain uh, let's say here sulfur divided by the total weight correct that is what is weight percentage yeah of course into 100 will be there because it's a percentage so here you have to write the weight percentage of sulfur in slag divided by the weight percentage of sulfur in the steel so here you don't know how much amount of uh, sulfur is going into slag so let's take it to be x okay let's assume 
x as the weight of no sulfur so what is x the weight of sulfur in slag now what is percentage sulfur in slag it is x by what is the weight of slag it is given to us it is 0.110 so it is 100 in 200 so this is my numerator which is my percentage sulfur in slag divided by so if x kg is going into your slag and you have initially 0 0.5 kg present in your steel what is the final content it is nothing but the amount of initial sulfur content minus whatever is going into the slag right the left out is nothing but the remaining final content in the steel so that is 0 0.5 minus x this is the final amount okay or final weight of sulfur present in your liquid steel divided by what is its weight the total weight is 1000 into 200 right equal to how much it is 10 equal to 10 right so this is pretty much easy easy calculation for us in order to calculate x now okay so you can see 100 100 is cancelled this two zeros are cancelled so again this 10 goes on to numerator so even uh, this gets cancelled with this 10 so here you are left with x equal to 0.5 minus x right so from here what is my x value so 2x equal to 0.5 x equal to 0 0.25 kg that means out of your 0 0.5 kg present in your steel 0 0.25 kg is going into the slag so what is the remaining that is actually present in your steel that is 0 0.5 minus 0 0.25 which is again 0 0.25 kg only okay so percentage s in metal okay, in indicating the steel i mean the solid brackets which is equal to 0 0.25 okay how we got it just by subtracting 0 0.25 from 0 0.5 divided by the weight is 1000 percentage so let's multiply into 100 so what the question asks is this thing over here the denominator okay so it is equal to how much 0 0.025 percentage 0 0.025 percentage so this is how you have to easily solve it oh so you see if you know carefully what are the terms what are these terms actually explain you you can easily solve these type of questions and you know we have many questions even in previous year uh, in fact this question which i solved was a previous year question only of course i don't remember uh, the year now but yeah this is a previous year question so what is distribution ratio it is nothing but the ratio between the sulfur that is going into slag divided by the final content of sulfur that is present in your steel and both are weight percentages so using your given data you can easily solve the given problems so yeah that's it for uh, this video if you like it please hit the like button and also share with all the gate metallurgy aspirants we are actually starting live classes for gate 2022 from coming months so stay tuned for uh, the final informations so of course we'll make a separate video on how the course will be and what is the course structure and all but do stay tuned and also subscribe to everything metallurgy if you are not done yet okay so also do check out our website everythingmetallurgy.com where you can find one of the best video courses okay we are almost reached 100 we are only two students two students uh you know uh to reach this century so thanks a lot for this support so i hope your support will stay with us in the coming years also and we are always you know ready and we came in to this with a motto to help gate metallurgy aspirants so yeah, that's it from my side. Thank you guys. Thanks a lot for watching. We'll meet you in the next video.